Hi, it's Dr. Sherry here. I'm going to take just a minute and tell you about one of my favorite functional tests called an organic acids test. I have so many people come in to me and ask, what should I be taking? What nutrients do I need? And, um, and it's a tough thing. I mean, we, we look at it clinically. We look at somebody's health history and their, um, their family history and their symptoms that they're dealing with and put together a good plan for folks. But, but a test like this is really going to get in there and help us pinpoint exactly biochemically what's going on and what somebody might need. So I always say from a time, energy, money perspective, doing a test like this, one, you're going to get better results, and two, you're going to be able to skip some of the trial and error that we often have to do when it comes to supplements and medications. So this way we can start from a sort of clean slate perspective and really see, hey, here are, are some of the places you need extra support and areas that we need to focus. I also love this test because it's simple. It's, it requires an early morning urine sample. So I love test was first developed was to work in the community of autism. So it's great to be able to, from a young child, get a urine sample uh, as an adult as well, get a urine sample instead of a blood sample. Um, but it's a fantastic test. I want to run through it real quick so you can see why I like it so much. Uh, again, we're looking at the function of the body. So we get a full perspective on almost every different system in the body so we can see what's out of balance. It starts with the gut microbiota. So we're looking at intestinal overgrowth and is there yeast? Is there fungus? Are there bacteria? If so, we can pinpoint some of the bacteria. So this is really important not only for digestive health, but for overall health. I mean, we're looking at mood disorders in relation to gut. We're looking at skin issues in relation to gut. So this is really important. It's not the be-all, end-all. I will often run a digestive stool analysis if a lot of things show up here, but it definitely gives you a really good idea of what's going on. And if somebody has a ton of markers, we know that there is a clear gut dysbiosis going on with this person. This person's gut actually looks um, pretty good. Then on the second page here, we get to look at some interesting components of the diet and also nutrients, and that's oxalates. Oxalates are And some people just naturally aren't able to dispose of them, so they will have problems with oxalates. And so you'll see this on this test, and you can get really specific with some diet and certain nutrients if somebody's showing up high in oxalates. Somebody that is not processing oxalates well will have things like chronic fatigue, of joint pain. And we're looking at all kinds of potentially related symptoms. from somebody's diet, unless somebody was having kidney stones, and that's kind of a classic marker of oxalates. But other than that, some of these other chronic health conditions, you don't necessarily think about oxalates. We can start to look at all the energy cycles in the body. So the Krebs cycle is part of how we bring in carbohydrates and proteins and fats into the diet and how we break those carbohydrates, proteins, and fats down and where in the system might this not be going very well. Mitochondria in particular, the mitochondria are the energy warehouses inside of each cell. And so it's really, really important to have strong and healthy mitochondria. If you don't, you're not going to be able to produce healthy cells. And we are made of healthy cells. We want to be made of healthy cells. So it's really super important for just energy and, and vitality to slow down the aging process. And this test is so beautiful. We get a glimpse of even what's going on in the brain by looking at some of the urinary metabolites. So we can see, you know, if somebody's got a dopamine issue or a serotonin issue, we can see if there's inflammatory markers related to the brain function. So this is a really nice glimpse into somebody's brain health. Really nice. Again, we get to see just every aspect of the human body. We get to look at folate metabolism. So for those of you who are familiar with MTHFR, MTHFR is a genetic condition of altered folate metabolism, B12 as well. Um, but it's fairly popular these days in terms of really getting out into the medical community. So you get, again, a glimpse. We definitely do a lot of detailed methylation work, but you can definitely look at folate and it'll point you in the right direction to see if there's something going on with folate metabolism. Here we're looking at half 
fatty acid oxidation, how, how well do you do with carbohydrates and breaking them down um, in your fatty acids. So again, we're looking at energy production. If you have trouble losing weight, this is a great area to look at, look a little bit deeper. And then one of my favorite places here is the nutritional markers. So B12, B6, B5, vitamin C, CoQ10, NAC, all of these nutrients that all of us could look at individually and say, yes, I probably need that. But do we really need it? Not everybody needs all of these nutrients. So it's, it's nice to look at. And again, we can form formulate a plan and really get somebody feeling better more quickly when we can target some of these. Then we've also got a glimpse at detoxification. So we're looking at glutathione, which is one of the major antioxidants in the body. And it's really important to have high levels of glutathione. We can look at ammonia excess. So some people build up ammonia in the body. And if you've ever heard that um, term brain fog, ammonia, if you build up too much ammonia into the system, you will definitely have that feeling of brain fog. And so if you have it, brain fog <laughs> explains it perfectly. And uh, if you don't have it and brain fog doesn't make sense to you, you probably don't have brain fog. But so it's really good to look at ammonia and see how you're processing ammonia in the body. We can also, again, look a little bit at some of these other food groups like we talked about oxalates, but also salicylates. Um, we can another bacterial marker. So we get to see how the body is detoxifying. And then we get to look at all the amino acids. And we get to look at some of the mineral metabolism markers. So it's a fantastic test. You can see how much information you can glean from a test like this. It's not that expensive. It's a simple urine test. And I really think it saves people a lot of time, energy, and money in the future. Because right out of the gate, knowing which areas you need to focus on, which areas might not be that important. And you've got a very objective measurement here. Thanks. If you have any questions, please let us know. Have a great day.